water and its molecular structure, have been the subject of extensive studies. Researchers discovered that when water is stimulated positively by magnets, the clusters of molecules that make up water form smaller, more uniform clusters, whereas when water is stimulated negatively by magnets, the clusters of molecules produced are much larger, chaotic-looking clusters that clump together and even prevent plants from being properly hydrated. As a result, plants watered with this, let's just say, magnetized water, absorb minerals from the soil at a much higher rate, producing healthier and stronger plants. To put this to the test, we will be planting two batches of wheatgrass, one will be watered with magnetic water, the other with plain water. Okay, there's going to be a few things we need. Firstly a watering container filled with rain water. Two spray bottles, one for the magnetized water the other with plain water. Wheat grass seeds that have been pre-soaked for 24 hours in water, then wrapped and soaked in a moist towel for the same amount of time. We have two packs for the process of the exercise. Next we have two pre-prepared trays filled with organic soil, and the base of the trays are lined with a paper towel. Again we have two for the process of the exercise. One for the plain rainwater and the other for the magnetized rainwater. A magnetic funnel or filter will be used to magnetize the water. We have chosen the Omni water filter for this assignment. Okay, let's fill the watering containers. We're going to pass the water for one of the spray bottles through the Omni water filter. This is where it is said the clusters of molecules are encouraged by the magnets to form smaller, more uniform clusters. Increasing the effectiveness of the water's ability to help the plant roots utilize and use the minerals needed for the plant's growth and health. The second spray bottle we are going to fill straight out of the water jug with the same plain rain water. The only difference being it will not be magnetized through the omni funnel or filter to aid us in comparing the two. To identify what water to use on each of them, we have Mark M for magnetic and R for regular water. Now with two prepared seed parcels, remember the seeds have been pre-soaked to help them sprout. Placing one there and empty the other, shaking off all the seeds and then spreading them out. Breaking it all up and then evenly spreading over the top of the soil. Now with both trays evenly spread with the seeds, we will take the two watering bottles and really soak them with the corresponding bottle of water. Spreading the top soil over the top, like so, not too much just enough to cover the seed. Now we'll get the spray bottle with the magnetic water and the other with regular water and thoroughly saturate the soil on top to see how they progress and which grows the quickest and healthiest. Okay, so it's a little difficult to tell the difference between the two from those photographs taken over a 10-day period, but when you compare the final product, you can see that the tray of grass on the right has thinner blades of grass and has not grown as tall as the one on the left. Given that we only observed growth over a brief period of time, and that the rate of growth was only a few milliliters per day. I think it's safe to say that magnetic water does influence plant development and perhaps even plant health.